Hello and welcome. In this session, I will be talking about the next big thing which is going to happen. Some years back, with the launch of YouTube, we all did not anticipate as to what this YouTube will be like in the coming years. But now we have understood the potential of YouTube. My dear friends, the next big thing is here. That is chat GPT. It is a artificial intelligence tool. Now what does an artificial intelligence tool has to do with a chartered accountant? My dear friends, for the last one week, I got interested in this topic and I have started researching on this chat GPT as to how it will be useful for a chartered accountant. Friends, let us try some two or three real case situations or examples in this module. Now, for this purpose, you have to go to chart.openai.com and you got to register yourself. Now, this is an interactive platform wherein for every question you pose, you get a an answer. Now, well, is it right or wrong? The future has to tell. Of course, this is in a nascent stage, but its potential is so huge that it is going to change the way in which the things are done. Friends, let me say, in this session, I will take some three examples. One income tax example, one GST example, and one audit example. Let me first try with the income tax example. Let us say, in one of my client's case, the assessing officer has disallowed some advertisement expenditure. Now, why then, what I need to do is, I need to substantiate the claim of expenditure made by my SSC. And now what I have to do normally is I have to refer the relevant provisions, sections, case laws, and I need to draft a letter to the assessing officer. Now let us think this chart GPT will be open for public in its full scale. Now how this is going to help me? At least to some extent of solving or saving on my time. Friends, I will pose a question to chat GPT by saying that the income tax officer disallowed advertisement expenditure expenditure full stop write a letter to the income tax officer substantiating the claim by quoting some case laws and press enter. Now the chart GPT in the split second started writing a letter to the income tax officer. What does it say? Dear income tax officer, you can fill up the name there. I am writing to respectfully request you to reconsider the dissolvance of advertisement expenditure of the tax year. I have understood that you have concerns about the legitimacy of these clients, but I would like to assure you that they are entirely legitimate business expenditure and have been upheld as such by various court cases. In the case of, you can quote the relevant case law. The court held that the advertisement expenditures are fully deductible as long as they are incurred in the production of income. Now let us say, in this example, the case law was not cited. Now let me further extend the conversation. Tell me, tell me some case laws. Now what does it say? just it's thinking of course it may not take much time 
but in this case yes it has started here are a few cases that might be relevant to claim the advertisement expenditure being a deductible business expenditure commission of income tax versus bc srinivas shetty cit versus dunlop india and so on and so forth my dear friends it is not that the whatever this chart gpt states is correct but at least we will get some idea as to how we may proceed in a drafting our letter to the assessing officer substantiating our claim for advertisement expenditure so friends this is one such example from income tax of course you can build upon these things depending upon your necessity and requirement you can just copy this paste it modify as you require thereafter the, your work is done maybe if you want if you are required to spend some two or three hours maybe this chap gpt may save upon your time and you may be able to complete that work in maybe in half an hour or even less than that friends you can just copy this and paste it in your word document and then you can build upon your reply Friends, I will take another example of, uh, let us say, a GST. Now, let me say, one of, for one of my client, the GST officer on an audit, physical inspection of the premises of the SSC, what he has done is, he took the quantity details as per tally data, and then he verified the physical stock and arrived at a, a deficit stock of let us say one crore of rupees my client contention is that actually whatever quantity details appearing in the books that is tally are not exactly true because the opening balances are not correct why this hsn code has been introduced in between and has been made mandatory from some one year or one and a half year back now at that time what this person has done is uh, he started to enter the purchases and the sales figures and uh, uh, the sales uh, quantity hsn has been extracted and uh, populated in the gstr1 in the meantime the gst officers came and examined the tally data took it as the book balance and uh, verified the physical stock and arrived at the let us say closing stock or deficit stock now the contention of the client is that the quantity details as appearing in tally are not correct and it has to be computed based upon the gross profit ratio now i want to write a letter to the assessing officer substantiating this claim what i will do is i will ask chat gpt that the goods and service tax officer on inspection of the business premises found out excess stock based on the stock quantity details available in the books which cannot be relied upon write a letter write a letter to gst officer stating that the stock is to be arrived based on gross profit ratio by quoting some case loss and boom it has started to write the letter now what does it say dear gst officer you can give the name i am writing you to reconsider the uh, determination of excess stock based on the stock quantity details available in the books 
I understand that you have concerns about the accuracy of these records, but I would like to assure you that there are other methods of determining stock that have been upheld as reliable by various courts. One such method is use of gross profit method, which is widely accepted in determining the closing stock of a business. You can quote the case laws. Now, as in the case of income tax, here also the case laws are not quoted. So what you can do is you can further ask the chat GPT to quote some case laws. Right. What you will do is, of course, a disclaimer has also been given. It is always good to check the jurisdiction and context of this case and facts in the case to confirm the relevance of the case law to your specific case and to ensure that case law is still good law and not overruled by other case laws. Of course, there are ifs and buts. But what I mean to say is, here is the tip of an iceberg wherein it is going to change the way in which we do our practice. Now let us say, I will ask something more. Quote some case laws in this regard. Quote some case laws in this regard. Now, in a split second, it starts giving some case laws wherein the gross profit ratio is adopted in determining the stock. Of course, this is giving the case laws concerning the income tax. But what you can also do is you can go and adopt or you can ask the chat GPT to give some case laws in the GST perspective also, in the GST perspective also. Now what I will do is quote the case laws in goods and service tax perspective. Goods and service tax perspective. That is the question which has been posed by me. Now let us understand as to what this uh, chat GPT will do to give the information as far as uh, the GST is concerned. Or even if uh, you consider the GST to be at nascent stage, you may go in for what you call, uh, of course, relatively new and it is based on consumption tax which methods is not common practice and there might not be any case laws in GST perspective. That's what chat GPT is telling. But what I can do is prior to this GST has uh, come into place. What I can do is uh, well put the case laws in the just while uh, what you call uh, uh, excise law. Excise law. Now, what it will do, we will try to understand or we will try to check out as to what it will do. Yeah, it's thinking it may take a while it will be checking across all the data which it is trained for. Try to extract some meaningful things and try to present it to us. Now, will it start or not? Still thinking. It may take a while. It's trying to gather some information.
it's still thinking of course there was an error but uh, what we can do is uh, we can try to modify and uh, i will try to save and resubmit now here we get the answer gross profit ratio under s12 excise law cce versus gk synthetics that the gross profit method is reliable method for closing stock as it takes into gross profit earned and also supreme court held that is a fair and reasonable method for determining the closing stock also is a scientific and a rational method for determining the closing stock gujarat high court told it is a fair and reasonable method right so this is how you you can or you may or in the future what this chat gpt or other ai tools are going to do now let me take the example of audit right i will take the example of an audit let me say i want to of course audit of expenses there is a guidance note but let's let's check it out as to what this ai tool will do now uh, how to audit expenses uh, how to audit expenses full stop take into account the guidance note issued by ICA now let me check what uh, it is going to do now what it is saying is the institute of chartered accountants of india has issued a guidance note on audit of expenses which provide guidance on the auditing procedure and consideration for examples now how to you how to audit the expenditure identify and understand the nature of expenditure review the internal control systems so on so forth test the accuracy of the expenses like uh, by adopting audit procedures such as uh, watching tracing inspection of supporting documents review the reasonableness of the expenditure and impact of identified misstatements so so on and so forth has been extracted from various documents at its disposal and of, uh, with various documentations with which it has been trained so friends what i mean to say is of course there is a a disclaimer here also that it is general guidance and the auditor should always consider the specific circumstances of the entity and the applicable laws regulations and accounting standards friends these are some of the live examples wherein we will be using the ai tools in our audit in the near future also recently the institute has issued a some technical guidance with regard to digital assurance so we are forwarding or we are slowly and steadily moving into a different world of doing things thanks for watching see you next time